for about 23 Okay. Okay. Um, just walked past a big used bus driver, but you know, I suppose 23 and he stopped kind of caring a bit.
okay, it's childish, but you know, I think some tools do this when I'm on the trail. <laughs> well, I've been doing it of late as much as I've been saying the same things when I'm documenting on Twitter or Facebook or whatever. Um, okay, I've just back on the usual trail. It's a wee bit cloudier, but it's still really, really clammy. Um, I think what's nice is not so much the comments, but um, for those of you who've uh, seen some of the Twitter th videos and so on, as I've been perfectly honest with most things, as I tend to be. Um, it's funny because I came out of the closet a bit uh, uh, insofar as I am a barefoot walker or I enjoy being in the trail barefoot um, something which uh, my ex-wife took exception to she just went through me, she totally destroyed me um, she just didn't get it um, well, that's fine. It's, some people do, some people don't. Some people get the grounding aspect. Um, yeah, each their own. I mean, I, I'm not going to preach, but uh, yeah, my ex-wife totally just completely tore me apart, and that's fine. But goes against just about everything that I stand for and that I've always been a believer that as long as you're not doing any, doing any harm to others, live and let live. Um, it's just the way I've been through life and I don't think it's a bad way to be, but I should take exception to this. and. So I came out on Facebook and put it on my own private Facebook. And the interesting thing is, isn't so much the negativity, it's more the positivity. Um, and I can kind of get that. It's, um, so I spoke to a few people about the whole grounding aspect and one person already knew, surprisingly. Um, although knowing that person, I shouldn't really be too surprised if they're playing, Lucy. Uh, no, I shouldn't have been that surprised. Um, and I mean that in a good way. But sometimes, you know, either some people get it or they don't. Some people have done... Um, and that's just life. Um, and I got talking to somebody else on Sunday, and I think I might have mentioned it yesterday, probably mentioned it yesterday. Um, but it was interesting watching her walk. You get some people that I'm extremely bad for heel drop. Uh, Hence why my heels do occasion. Uh, hence why my heels do occasionally get bruised. But um, you just seem to. Some people just. It's interesting watching other people um, because you always look at other people's techniques and yeah, it's. She had very good technique. I mean, mine is still struggle. I'm still have always struggled with it. Um, in time, maybe. Uh, but yeah, it's interesting. Uh, it's been an uh, it's been an interesting few weeks in regards to all this. Uh, certainly been an interesting year. But that's life. Um, since I started this, it's been it's been very very slow. It's very slow to build. Uh, 
It's been very slow just to work out exactly. I start. It's like a lot of things that you start. It starts out being about one thing and ends up something totally different. Um, and I suppose you've got the social acceptance aspect and so on. But did I think that I would be putting videos on YouTube? Nope. My intention was just to write, uh, was just to do the preparation, write a book about doing the FCP barefoot. Um, and that would be it. I never anticipated it would be, as, be this hard. Uh, I thought by this, by this time, well, hey, well, I thought by nine months ago, I thought it would be, I thought we'd had it done, or we'd had a large section of it done. Um, it's not that simple. I never guess I just totally underestimated it. But. I guess by underestimating it, it's led me on a different path. Um, not necessarily a bad one. But I did get talking to a dog walker last night who was uh, just a friend who's a dog walker. Um, and she was, uh, okay, she does a lot of woodland walks, just here we go. Probably the reason why my feet are so ingrained with mud. No bad thing. But uh, she, we were just talking about it, and she was saying that she used to do her walk about, run about barefoot all the time as a kid, and as an adult, you yeah, subscribe to the norms. And. To be honest, I never did. I was, I mean, if I was a guy, I was, I suppose it's subscribe. Uh, I was too busy playing football, so obviously you needed shoes. Um, I suppose it's different for girls. Um, but, yeah, it was, uh, it was interesting, uh, it was interesting that she was, what she was saying, who, as a kid, she used to run about barefoot a lot, and as boy, hey, I suppose it's the gender differences and the gender really, really is different for girls. I um, don't know if it's more socially acceptable, although, I mean, I've seen guys, hey, I've seen people of both genders walking about the city barefoot. I've never seen them doing it out here, but it's different out here. One, the trails are a lot stonier. Um, I've not had any rain overnight, although the clouds are relatively low. Um, like I've been saying for quite a while, it's desperately need some more rain. Um, and if so, tell us what the neighbours say. I'll be out here in the rain. I think it's about time I got my feet wet. And again, it's all the usual gaze. Uh, Arthur's seat over there. Cricketing in the shadow of Alan here. Um, again, my feet will be pretty dirty by then. Well, not very dirty, but they'll be... They won't be that bad. Um, I think that's one of the big things about doing this, is that after a while your feet are... Okay, I expect my feet to be have some ingrained dirt, but... And that's fine. Um, do you, I mean, at the end of the day your shoes end up dirty and you don't clean them, you clean your feet and suddenly it's a big deal. Um, I think because it's the dirt on your body, but part of me is convinced that it triggers off the natural immune system to 
be honest, after TBK, after having the flu pretty badly last so last winter, then um, here we go. After being hit with a couple of bouts of flu last year, then yeah, and and this year as well, then to be honest, I'm prepared to try anything. I did get completely annihilated with the flu this year, which despite having the flu inoculations. Even then, that's only so, uh, a tiny percentage. Um, you know, only covers so many of the, uh, so many strains of it. So yeah, okay, it might have been covered for uh, for a couple of them, but uh, my work got completely obliterated with it, as I think most workplaces did. It's just like. Uh, I guess it's just that's just what happens. Uh, one person gets it, everyone gets it, and because everybody feels guilty about being off sick, and before you know, half the wards off, half the place is off sick. Again, so although I've been doing this walk for about the last couple of months. That's actually really nice, no matter what the weather. I think given the fact that you're not quite at the top, you're, it's all valleys round about here, as most of Scotland does. Um, it's very rare that you see any severe flooding up here despite the volume of rain. When the town planners built the uh, houses, they were actually quite clever. They built them all, they never really, they always built them on hills or on the top of hills to avoid flooding. Although there are some places that do get flooded. I think around here it's more likely to be gas and so on that uh, forgotten about mines that are the problem. Um, hence why generally places where you need carbon monoxide uh, meters in your house. Luckily not about here, but yeah, in the past, it's just the way it worked. Okay, looks like it's going to be one of the longer videos, but so be it. Needs about three hours to download. Uh, to see how this uh, God knows how many I've uh, been brutally honest since I started putting these videos on YouTube I've got no idea uh, what the overall plan is but it's just quite nice to get uh, I just went in thinking well hardly anyone's watching them on Twitter so let's see what it's like on YouTube it'll be interesting to see in about so many weeks, uh, so even by Christmas, to see where this ends up. Because here we are on what the, uh, what, the 18th of July. So, yeah, it's okay. I'm making the most of the time off that I do have. I'm going to try to get out. I always try to have more, of, like, even if. I've got two days off, I always try to make it, I always try to go out at least once or twice. Don't always, but I try. I accept we all have busy lives and sometimes I'm working long stretches, but if you're on a long stretch, the last thing you can be bothered with is just getting out, all you want to do is rest at the end of it. Um, such is life. But I think some of the nicer things that I do do is even just the short five minute walks. 
um, five or six minute walks, which um, at least it means I'm getting out, at least I'm grounding. Okay, halfway. It's funny because you see everybody else getting the cloud and we're not really getting much. We can rest, there's a lot coming, but... Um, can just... Unless you know the hills, then... No, I've mentioned them often enough. You can always tell the flat top because it's uh, squalled law in the highest part of the Pentlands. Um, a few years ago, I was up there and they had this pyre. Um, and I think it was did something to do with the Queen, Queen's 90th or whatever. I kind of get lost with what's uh, 100th or I don't, know. I don't even know what age the Queen is. It's not something I particularly care about. But yeah, we were. Uh, I was kind of wondering how they managed to get all these big logs up uh, 1800 feet and. Sure enough, a four by four, a four by four truck came straight, came straight up, and okay, they were having to put the foot down, but they still did it. Uh, so here's me slugging my guts out uh, up um, all these other hills, and here's this guy driving up it. I wonder if the driver had ever actually walked any of these hills. I suppose it's a buzz in its own right. I think by the time we get to December it'll be, I think, all this feels kind of like a diary. Um, the Facebook entries, the Twitter entries, the WordPress, although I need to catch up on WordPress. Um, I think, uh, well, WordPress, I always feel like I've got to write more than what, what is actually relevant. There's not really a lot to write. Some guy does a barefoot, some guy walks around the same field he's been walking for the last two months barefoot. Um, I think that's about it. You know, you can't really write too much more than that. Oh, Black flight. Uh, I think what's nice about here is that the trails are at least they're good training tra training trails, and I suppose if they're on my doorstep, uh, there's nothing worse than. I mean, okay, I do like the privacy of it, and I really can't be bothered uh, facing people when I'm doing this, unless I'm with somebody who's also barefoot. Uh, a few days ago, I was with somebody who was barefoot, and okay, we're just running about a park bare, uh, we're just mucking about in a park barefoot, and it was fine. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we just. I don't think there was much more than that. <laughs> Two people walking about uh, barefoot, chucking a frisbee about. Um, she knew I did this and she encouraged me to take my socks and shoes off. I'd been at work. Um, and yeah, she was pretty cool with it. First thing I've ever uh, really, you know, it was strange. Well, it wasn't strange, it was actually quite liberating. It was really nice. But, that's... First, uh, yeah, you walk barefoot, you, there's not that many people that do it. Around about here. Um, although, I suppose, coming out just means that it's been interesting. Most people just say, ah, to hell with it, it's just him. 
but there has been a lot of interesting questions and there has been quite a lot of conversations about it. Um, I don't think that many people uh, pay attention to too much to the WordPress site or the uh, even the Facebook uh, or Twitter sites, but it's nice, uh, it's always appreciated the people that do. But I still feel like it all feels as though it's a bit of a diary. Here we go. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting come December and be interesting even come the 1st of October. If I was going to start this, I couldn't have started at a worse time. But I did, and okay, okay, I only got about four walks in in four months, but... Um, four walks in in even five months. Uh, I was quite... and even then... But then at the time, I guess I was struggling with all kinds of family issues and the inevitable demise of my marriage and all kinds of say, added to that, we had a bad winter and so on. And um, and here we are, uh, getting towards the middle of July and stuck in this field that's about five minutes from where I live. I haven't had numerous conversations about doing this and um, yeah, I guess the social anxiety is still the same, but uh, it's not quite as bad. Uh, I think the older you get, the less likely you are to care. But I suppose you're doing some, still doing something which is not quite the norm and the path that you're taking isn't quite well it sounds cool uh, the path you're taking isn't quite the one that's recognized but you're still doing it anyway and bar and see hey okay good right bit stony See, that's one of the things that I have been asked about, and again, it's because the paths, uh, because the paths have not been uh, still pretty hard and dry, again, would desperately need more rain. Um, yesterday was perfect. Well, yesterday wasn't perfect, wasn't far from it. Where the conditions were pretty good.
Okay, well, uh, the about box 70% of the way through. It's been one of those funny days that you often get around about here where the clouds are very broken but looking very heavy. Um, it's very unseasonally dry. You normally expect summers to be quite, can be quite cold. Or at least wet and clammy. It's kind of sad when you see the grass is dry and yellow is kind of dying out as much the way it is. Well, I guess today is what, 23, so I could aim it for the 30. Uh, I guess I have no idea what. Uh, I had no idea what my initial plan was when I first started this, but here I am.
case it just shows you how inflexible I am. I need to really get started on yoga or Pilates. Reasonably strong, good stamina, but no flexibility. Okay, I'm just going to put my shoes on at the end of here just because uh, I need to, well there's a bus coming, but also although um, Thirty minutes. Okay. Essentially, this seems to be taking forever. Essentially, this seems to be taking more or less the same time. It's about two miles, but must be there about it's walking speed to what three miles an hour. Must be there about it's. 